Hello everyone, welcome to another beautiful video of Grace Academy. This is me, Joshila. And Teresa. Okay, Teresa, what we are going to do today? Yes, Joshila, we are moving to the role play section between a nurse who is working in the suburban clinic and the patient who has rheumatoid arthritis, who is attending an appointment to get the information about PPV, that is pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccination. Okay, Teresa. So, I'll be taking the position of the nurse and Teresa will be the patient. So, without any delay, we can move on to our role play session. Good morning. Good morning, nurse. I am Joshila, a nurse working in the suburban clinic. For my confirmation purpose, could you please tell me your name? Yes, nurse. My name is Teresa. Okay, Teresa. If I am not wrong, you came here to get some information regarding pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccination, isn't it? Yes, nurse. You are correct. I already got the letter from this clinic to have this vaccination. But nurse, I don't think it is necessary. Well, Teresa, I can really understand your perspective. But let me explain the need for the vaccination. In your case, you are at high risk of getting pneumococcal infections due to compromised immune system due to rheumatoid arthritis. So, it is very important to take immunization against pneumococcal infections which include pneumonia and septicemia. Do you have any doubts? Yes, nurse. I want to know more about these conditions. Could you please tell me about that? Yes, Teresa. I surely explain you regarding that. Pneumonia means it is the infection of lungs and septicemia means it is blood poisoning. Did you get my point? Yes, nurse. But I have one more doubt to clarify because I already got an annual flu jab. So I think that it will provide enough protection. Well, Teresa, that's a reasonable question from your side. But Teresa, there is some difference between PPV and flu vaccination. I will give you a detailed information regarding both vaccines so you will get a better understanding. Can I proceed with that? Yeah, sure, nurse. We can proceed. Okay, Teresa. So the PPV vaccine, which is given for the bacterial infection and the strain remains safe. That's why it is given every three years. However, the flu vaccine, which is given for the viral infection and the strain periodically changes. Therefore, it is given every yearly. Am I making myself clear for you? Yes, nurse. Well, Teresa, is there anything bothering you? Yes, nurse. I am really worried about the possible side effects after this vaccination. Are there any side effects? Yes, Teresa, you are right. There are some possible temporary and mild side effects for the vaccination, which include slight temperature, redness or swelling at the injection site. If you are not feeling well after the vaccination, you can make an appointment with your GP and he will provide appropriate management for your symptoms. Will you be able to do that? Yes, nurse, I will definitely do the same. Well, Teresa, do you have any other concern? Yes, nurse. I had an annual flu vaccination just two weeks ago. So maybe it is better to wait. Don't you think so? Well, Teresa, before answering to that, I need to ask a question regarding your flu vaccination. Can I? Yeah, sure, nurse. Uh, well, Teresa, have you experienced any kind of reaction to the flu vaccination like high temperature, muscle aches or fatigue? No, nurse. I felt fine after this flu vaccination and it didn't cause any other problems at all. Oh, that's perfect. And let me reassure you that having PPV vaccine today is the perfect time because you already told me that you had no adverse reaction to the flu vaccination and there is a suitable interval between both vaccines. So, it is the perfect time to take vaccine. Is that okay for you? Yes, nurse. So, could you please give me the consent for the vaccination? Yeah, sure. Okay, that's a perfect decision from your side. Thank you. Thank you, nurse. Well, Jushila, it was an interesting role play, isn't it? Yes. Soon after this, we do have a feedback session. So, stay tuned. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the feedback. Now, we have just seen a role play where a 62-year-old patient has just come to the clinic to get more information on PPV, that is, pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccination, because he was asked to have one. Now, let's learn on how to do each and every task in a much effective manner. The first task is asking us to confirm the reason for patient's visit, brackets PPV. 
ഇവിടെ നമ്മളോട് വെരിഫൈ ചെയ്യാൻ പറയണേ അതായത് പേഷ്യൻറ്റ് ഈ ഒരു പർട്ടിക്കുലർ കാര്യത്തിൽ നിന്ന് തന്നെയല്ലേ വന്നേന്ന് വെരിഫൈ ചെയ്യാം ആൻഡ് ദ റീസൺ ഫോർ ദ വിസിറ്റ് ഇസ് മെൻഷൻ ഇൻ യുവർ ബാക്ക്ഗ്രൗണ്ട് സോ യു ക്യാൻ യൂസ് ദാറ്റ് ഇൻഫോർമേഷൻ ടു ഫുൾഫിൽ ദിസ് ടാസ്ക് സോ ലെറ്റ് ഡു ഇറ്റ് വെൽ യു ക്യാൻ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ഫ്രം ദി ഇൻട്രൊഡക്ഷൻ ഇറ്റ് സെൽഫ് ഗുഡ് മോർണിംഗ് മൈ നെയിം ഇസ് ബിന്ത്യ ദ രജിസ്റ്റേഡ് നേഴ്സ് വർക്കിംഗ് ഇൻ ദിസ് സബ് അർബൻ ക്ലിനിക് വുഡ് യു മൈൻഡ് ടെലിങ് യുവർ നെയിം വാട്ട്സ് ദി ഹാവ് സെറ്റ് ദിയർ നെയിം ദെൻ വി ക്യാൻ ഡു ദ കൺഫർമേഷൻ well if i'm not wrong you have come here to get more information about ppv am i right now let's do the second task here the question is asking us to explain the need for vaccination brackets rheumatoid arthritis patient at high risk of pneumococcal infection slash compromised immune system again they have given us one more task to fulfill under the same bullet point they are asking us to stress the importance of immunization against pneumococcal infection again brackets pneumonia and septicemia so basically you have to cover two things under one bullet point first of all you have to explain the need for this vaccination for this patient okay and then you have to stress the importance now when you check the background you can see that this patient is having rheumatoid arthritis so you can put that information so that this task can be done in a much effective manner So let's do it. Well, let me tell you why this vaccination is important for you. You know that you do have rheumatoid arthritis. And people with rheumatoid arthritis are at high risk of getting pneumococcal infection which can cause compromised immune system. So this is how we did the first part of the task. Now we have to stress the importance. For that, we have to give a little more stress to our language. Let's do it. Well, it is very important for you to get protected against pneumococcal infection. This is because it can lead to serious complications like pneumonia and septicemia, which means blood poisoning. And we don't want you to be at a high risk. Am I clear? The third task is a bit tricky. In the end of the day, all of a sudden, they are asking us to explain the difference between two vaccinations. At this point we can imagine the patient on the other side has some doubts related to flu vaccine and PPV. So let's try to explain it. Well, your concerns are very reasonable. Let me give you the explanation on difference between these two vaccinations. Now, PPV vaccine is only given for pneumococcal bacteria and the strain of this bacteria remains the same. and that is why this vaccine is given only every 3 years whereas flu vaccine is for viral infection and the strain constantly changes and that is why it is very important to get this vaccination every year does that make sense to you let's read out the fourth bullet point outline possible temporary mild side effects brackets slight temperature redness slash swelling in the injection site again recommend making an appointment with the gp if not feeling well how to do this task well it's a very straightforward one so we can have a simple statement for this can i outline you the possible side effects with this vaccination first of all i want you to understand the side effects are very mild and you can expect having a slight temperature redness in the injection site along with some swelling and if you find any of these side effects i would recommend you to see the doctor immediately so that he can check on you can you do that this is how you got to do this task the fifth task ask the patient about any reaction to flu vaccination brackets high temperature muscle aches fatigue Now this is one such task what i call as a blind task why this is because we haven't given us any clue on why we are asking the reaction about flu vaccine adayid at this point ningal ningala patient ne clear aayittu listen cheyna or else you're going to get confused clear we use scenario le ee or chodyam varan kaaranam the patient is telling that he had flu vaccine two weeks ago and he don't think he should have vaccine right of now adondana nammal ee oru chodyam chodikkane so let's do the task well i can understand your concern well if you don't mind can you tell me if you had any reaction with the flu vaccination earlier like high temperature muscle aches or fatigue okay so this is how you do this task clear 
Now let's move to our last and the final task. Here the question is asking us to reassure the patient about having PPV today. Brackets, no adverse reaction to flu vaccine. Again, suitable interval since earlier vaccine. Now we have to do one more thing under the same bullet point. That is establish patient's consent to have the PPV. So, we will do two things. In the 3 minutes preparation time, list, soon after reading this task, you will get a clear understanding what is going to be the answer for your previous question. That is, adverse reactions are not going to be And that is why you are reassuring the patient. So, what task you do with your Okay? So, let me reassure you that it is perfectly alright to have your PPV today. This is because you said that you didn't have any adverse reaction with your previous vaccination. And you took your flu vaccine two weeks ago, which is a suitable interval. Now, if you don't mind, could you please give me a consent for the PPV? Now, this is how you do the last task. And as I told you earlier, this feedback sessions are really important for you during your three minutes preparation time. We try to teach you on how to approach each and every task. With that, thank you.